All right, this is yet another video of um, new features coming to my prop, and it's a combination of the new capabilities in OS 7 as well as a bunch of changes that I'm making to my prop. So my prop in OS 7 is going to have a crazy amount of customization, both in terms of what's default to the prop, um, where you can put defines in to turn off or on certain features. Um, there's, there's a lot of stuff now that you're going to basically have the ability to, to just pick and choose what you want the prop to do. On top of it, the reason for these changes is because um, the new synergy between the style code, the fonts, and the, pre and, the, and the props allows for each preset to be unique. And my prop file is going to make it so that each preset can actually dictate certain controls within the prop. So that you can have one preset where controls do one thing. The next preset, those same controls can do a completely different thing. Um, and that's allowing for a ton more capabilities and so much more customization in each preset. So we're treating your Profi Saber like a video game console, and we're treating each preset, the style code in that preset, as if it was its own unique video game. So the base controls are the same, but each game or each preset can actually do different things with those same controls now. And we can enable and disable features. You can have certain features built into one uh, preset and then switch to another preset and those controls can be completely different do completely different things and have a completely unique experience and when you add that to all the interactive capabilities uh, the mini game concept the ability for us to do interactive blast interactive prions every single preset on your saber can be totally new experiences so you're never doing just the same thing you can pick up your saber one day jump to one preset have a completely different experience than if you change presets um, and it's really only going to be limited to your imagination um, so the changes to my prop are going to allow for a lot of this to happen, um, and there'll be a lot of documentation on it. But on top of that, I'm also making it so that there's features that maybe you don't use. They're going to be easier to disable, um, and that's going to free up even more capabilities. Um, but at a minimum, my for OS 7, my prop is going to introduce special abilities, and there's going to be eight slots. And those special abilities can be, you can pick and choose each preset what special abilities are. And special abilities are not just visual effects. They can be unique sound effects. They can be, I have the new state capabilities where you have a blade state that controls not only the sound and the visual um, toggles on and off, but does different things like rain blades. Uh, we can do the boost type auras. We can do swing effects where they're turned on and off by one control. Um, we can do the ability for unique quotes. You can have uh, kind of a MyCom setup. There's a ton of capabilities. Check out all the videos because there's actually too much. I'm losing track. But let me get to what this is. So obviously this is a Fallen Order uh, blade uh, saber. And this preset, and actually I have two presets, are set up to mimic the exact game where you can change your blade color and sound. So I'm using uh, Kyberphonics Survivor Bundle. It has eight different sounds for the eight different colors. Now typically we, in the past, we could change the colors easily enough, but the font was always the same. You, you would have to change the preset if you want to change the font, but the new alt font capabilities, which is again in the other playlist, um, allow for us to actually have the color and font stay in sync and change. Now, one of the limitations we had was that you had to use one of the existing controls. What I've done is because now the, the preset itself will have control over that, I've actually set it up so you can do the controls for picking the color and font or, and alt font differently in each preset. And if you don't need it, you don't have to use that button for that. You can use that button or that control for something else. Um, so this in this preset, I've set it up so that um, oh, and another new capability which is coming to my prop is the ability to go backwards. So normally, when you do color change, um, when we would do the, um, which was color change direct for dual phase or multi-phase, when we would do the um, color select, which was going to be using the Kyber dial, um, or just an advance on a force click, um, you couldn't really go backwards easily. Now, I can actually map different controls, one control to go forward and one control to go back, so I can go through all eight of them. So I've set it up so that each time I do the change, it says the font's name, but it's not reloading the font. That's actually the alt change sound. I just use the file that is normally for the font to say the color. We're not reloading the preset. We're not reloading the font. We are live changing which alt font is used at the same time we change the color. So you're not changing presets, you're not reloading, it doesn't have to turn on and off, it doesn't have to stop the sound. It's just switching in real time. And now with my prop file, how that's controlled is up to you. So for this one, I'm going to go forward and backward with two different controls that I've set up in the style code. So I can go, so that's my cyan, and it's got a different hum and different sounds. Green. 
indigo. And again, the sound changes with the color. Orange. Purple, and purple has a really different sound. Magenta. Yellow. And then I can go back around the blue. And now, if I wanted to go backwards, so say I, I skipped over one I want to go to, I can go backwards as well. And it's a different control, but the control is set in the style code. So I'm using different controls at different points to make those changes. And now I can have that full game experience um, and have the sound and color change. And I'm choosing in this preset how I control that change. And then I've got another preset. I think it's this one. Let me see if it's this one. I think it's this one. I, I, I lost track of presets. I've now, in this version, this preset, I changed the controls from when the saber's on to when the saber's off. I'm going to use the crystal to see the color change. So, so now the color is going to change while the blade is off. And all that is is because the style code controls it, I've set the controls up for while it's off. So you can have one preset do it while it's on, one do it while it's off. You can set it up so it does on or off. Um, and each preset can have different controls. So now I can go through all of them just while the blade is off, and I'm going to use the, in this case, my crystal chamber to see what change is happening. Indigo. Orange. And it's not only changing the color, it is changing that off now. And then while it's off, I can go backwards. So that's the indigo. So now, in two different presets, I set up two different controls for the same thing so that I can have different experiences um, depending on what you want. And that's going to be one of the biggest capabilities now because now we have so many more features that we can add. And you can pick and choose the features you want as well as what controls enable and enable them. And you're not just strapped to the prop file doing the same thing every single time on every single preset. Every preset has the ability to act completely differently. And I have a bunch of other videos where these same controls are doing totally different things. They're controlling quotes. They're controlling chained effects. They, they can do interactive uh, capabilities. You can set them up to do the mini games. You can set them up to do a bunch of stuff. So definitely check out the playlist because there's so many new capabilities. And they're individual to the preset. The preset itself, the style code, is what's telling the saber what those controls are going to do. Um, so the possibilities are now not only endless, but they can be completely different in each preset. So you, every time you pick your saber up, completely different experiences. You can have one setup that's totally like a video game. You can have another setup where you can recreate exact scenes from the film, complete with unique controls to actually do different conversations. Uh, we can do setups where you can have different characters and you can choose who's going to speak based on unique controls. Um, we can do different ignitions, we can do different retractions, different prions based on separate controls. Uh, we have this ability to control states like a rain blade that you can turn on and off. There's so many new capabilities coming and each preset can take advantage of them differently. So you're not stuck with the same old blade on every single preset, the same old controls. With my prop, with all the new capabilities in OS 7, every preset is like its own video game on your console and you can load them up and play them and enjoy them over and over and have completely different experiences every time so OS 7 is changing everything about what you know about Profi and the capabilities while they've always been limitless they're limitless to the exponential power now because of the ability for the style code to control and work with the fonts to control and work with the prop file and to do different things in each preset so so much more coming. I've only done a small group of videos because I have a limited time. I actually have a bunch more that are going to come specific to my prop. There's still a bunch of new features that uh, Frederick and I are working on, so we are not done yet, and there's so much already. Definitely check out the other playlist. Check out this full playlist, and keep an eye out because there's a ton more coming, and I know everybody's going to be enjoying this because, to me, it's, it's just mind-blowing what's now possible.